This here is a six foot hole. No markings, you gotta be careful. You just wander along and fall into this hole. But this is the site and soil test for our incoming uh, septic system. And it's been sitting like this for a while because we've been having trouble getting permits because of, oh, you guessed it, COVID-19. Anyway, the assignment for social studies is we're ending with kind of a, uh, it's a challenging one, I guess. It's called civic revolution. When we say civic, we mean your community, the people around you, your city, your town. And we're talking about revolution. We're talking about a big change. And so if you put those two things together, we're talking about what is a big change that you could bring to Union Gap. Or if you want to think a little bit broader, um, Yakima County, or Washington State, or what have you, doesn't matter. Um, but what is some sort of change? And the idea is that you would make some sort of presentation that you could present to the city council. But let me be clear, uh, you do not actually have to present this. It's a hypothetical, it's a fake situation. You don't actually have to present this, but pretend you were, what would you want the city council to do? And I hope you get a little bit passionate about it, get a little worked up, and you wanna make a change that's meaningful to you and important. And I've, I've done this every year since I've started teaching, and so ninth year, and I see all sorts of cool things come through every year where students get super passionate about a change that they wanna make. And I've even had some kids, some students actually present to the city council. And actually that skate park that is over Cahalan Park, over by uh, uh, the mall over there, that whole thing started with a student in one of my classes saying, you know what, I want a skate park. And the change actually happened. Okay, so you never know. Your idea might actually come true so you want to come up with a really good presentation reasons why we should have your idea uh, what people that oppose it those that are against it why would they be opposed to your idea you want to address those things that's called addressing the opposition and you want to have some facts and you want to have some evidence all this is going to take some research and some work um, but you can do it. So come up with an idea. Think about what it would take to make that idea a reality. Think about people that would not like your idea and try to convince them. And put it together in a PowerPoint, a video, a poster, doesn't matter. I don't care. And, and share that with me in some way. And if you get super excited and you're like, I want to present this to the city council, I will come to your presentation and I will support you. All right, I can promise you that. I make that pledge right here, right now. All right. We've wandered all the way back east. We're back to the, our, our starts. Look at these little grow tubes here. And if you peek inside of them, there's little canes in there that are sprouting little vines. It's so beautiful. Look at them. Look at those little green things down there. Those were just what looked like dead sticks. And you put those dead sticks in the ground and you give them some love. And what do you know? Next thing you know, you got some vines. Pretty neat. All right, everybody. I care about you and I miss you. Hope you're doing good. Let me know if you got any questions. Bye.